Hey, what's up guys? I'm Big Bad Beaver, and in this Big Bad video, I'm gonna show you how to take your webcam from looking like this to this. I'm gonna take you step-by-step step through this guide to help you improve your stream's visual quality and enhance your content. Let's just jump right in and get started. So to begin, let's configure our webcam to use the highest quality resolution and frame rate it can. I use the Logitech Brio 4K, and the maximum resolution on that is 4K, and I can record it up to 30 FPS at that resolution. Now, for streaming on Twitch, you don't necessarily need to use the highest resolution possible, especially if you're just gonna have your webcam be in the corner while you're playing a game. But if you're doing YouTube or maybe podcasts, the increase in resolution might be beneficial to you. So for the sake of this tutorial, we'll be going at 4K 30 FPS. To change those settings, go to your OBS and double click on your webcam source. You'll get this properties window open and then from there, make sure your resolution and FPS type is set to custom and then change your resolution to whatever you'd like. I'm gonna go 4K, keep it at 30. It's gonna reset and you can already tell there's a dramatic increase in the quality of the footage itself. That big resolution bump helps bring up the clarity and there's not as much noticeable noise anymore. Now that we've done the basic, the first issue that I'm noticing is the extreme motion blur and the low exposure. Now to fix that, we're going to adjust our exposure settings. To change these settings, once again, open up your properties and click on configure video. We're going to get the separate properties menu open up. Go to camera control and make sure that exposure is not set to auto. Now in this case, it's already not set to auto, but our exposure is very high. We're at negative four. So let's go ahead and lower that down. I like to use negative six because that gets rid of a lot of your motion blur. But the issue now is that our image is very dark. So when an image is too dark like this, the easiest solution is just add more light. I have a desk lamp and a GVM LED RGB light that I have set up around my room that I can use to use as rim lighting and pop myself out of the scene. So when I turn on my desk lamp, my face immediately is lit up and exposed well. It's not, it's, it's still a little low, but it's definitely improved. Now to add some contrast, make myself pop out and improve the scene, I use another GVM light and a background desk lamp to add color and personality. Something I do have despite the consistent claims made against me on my Twitch. He has no personality. I have no pers- Go! You now that I've added all these lights, uh, I'm still not entirely happy with the exposure, so I'm gonna go back in and mess with our gain and our brightness settings. I'm going to bring up the camera's gain settings just a little bit, just to add a little more light to the image artificially. Now that's going to increase the amount of noise you see as it's basically the camera's ISO function, but just a little bit, especially when you're doing Twitch in the tiny little box, isn't gonna hurt anybody. We can also play around with our brightness settings just to make the image itself a little brighter and then adjust our contrast just a tiny bit to increase the amount of black. There we go, I like that. Keep fine tuning your settings until you're absolutely happy with them. And if you add more lights to your scene, make sure you go back and adjust your gain settings again. So I'm happy with how this looks. I like the rim lighting on me with the blue, with the orange contrast in the background. I think that's a nice little pizzazz that's gonna catch some eyes. So next, I'm going to adjust my saturation and sharpness settings. These settings allow you to improve the uh, vividness of your colors and the overall clarity of your image. So again, as always, double click, configure video, and then in your video proc amp settings, you're gonna find saturation. As you increase it, your colors are gonna get much more saturated, much more vivid. As you decrease it, your colors are gonna become much more washed out and dull. Find a setting you like the most. I always like to increase it uh, to the point where it kind of falls apart and then use that to pull it back to where it works best. So I think right there, 138 is a good value for me. And then I'm also going to adjust our sharpness settings just a little bit. Again, I always like to bring it up to where it breaks. You can see as you increase your sharpness as well, the noise itself increases. So you wanna be careful of that. I think what we had it at 138 is as good as I want to take it, as high as I want to take it, so looks good to me. We can move on. If your video still doesn't look good to you, if you feel something's off, there's still other tweaks you can try, including using filters. 
Now to get to the filters menu, you just right click on your video capture device and click on filters. From there, you can add a new filter. The two I like to look at are color correction and apply LUT. Applying a LUT lets you use a custom lookup table for the colors on your camera. Now this is a bit of an advanced filter to use, so I'm not gonna dive too deep into it here, but you can produce some pretty desirable results if it's done correctly. The main one that you might wanna to touch is color correction. Now using this will allow you to adjust your gamma, contrast, saturation, and hue settings even more. This will let you fine tune the exact style and feel that you're looking for, and you can bring out additional pop in your footage. There are many other filters too that I'm not gonna talk about here, which you yourself can explore in the OBS documentation I've linked in the description below. The last two tips I have for you are to play around with your camera's position and your composition. Remember the rule of thirds and try to find interesting angles. Don't use a front facing camera. Maybe play around with a side angle like this. Find an angle that makes you look your best. And then once you've done that, experiment with your backdrop. Maybe you wanna add even more props or, or extra lighting equipment, or maybe you just wanna keep it clean and simple. The choice is yours and it's always fun to find unique ways that bring out your identity. That's all I'm gonna talk about in this tutorial, but I certainly hope it was helpful for you. If you enjoyed, you might be interested in my microphone tutorial for OBS, where I teach you how to improve your microphone's audio quality. You can find that up in the corner card section above or in the links in the description. Be sure to subscribe and like for more content in the future. And uh, check me out on Twitch as well. I play video games occasionally with my friends. I'd love to see you in chat. I wish you all the best of luck in your streaming careers. And thank you for watching.